Attleboro High School is participating in a teacher exchange program coordinated by the East-West Center. Created by Congress in 1960, the East-West Center promotes better relations and understanding between the United States and the nations of Asia and the Pacific. 20 K-12 educators from South Korea recently arrived in the United States and will spend several weeks working with schools and teachers throughout the country. Attleboro High was chosen as a recipient school and South Korean history teacher Hee Soo Shin will spend the next two weeks working with Attleboro educators. Attleboro High School teacher Toby Reed shared with us more about the program. I originally got involved with the East West Center in 2005. I was part of a teacher exchange program over to Southeast Asia where we went over as a group of teachers from across the country. We met with teachers in Thailand, in Vietnam, in Cambodia. Um, we were, did a homestay in Thailand where we worked in a school for a couple weeks. Um, and I found the experience to be very, very valuable. And the opportunity to bring that experience back here uh, was something that I tried to take advantage of. Uh, we've worked with the East West Center as a, a district a few times now. We've had uh, Cambodian educators come over in 2008. We had uh, three Indonesian teachers come over in 2010. And this year we're fortunate enough to have one uh, teacher from South Korea come over as part of a kind of a global teacher exchange which discusses not just looks at content but also kind of the how people teach across the globe and in this kind of increasing global environment I think it's important for students and teachers to experience kind of global perspectives on things. We're, there are 20 South Korean educators coming over. Uh, they went to I think five or six different schools across the country. Attleboro was chosen as one of them uh, based on our relationship with the East West Center but also kind of our um, kind of the what we offer here uh, allows teachers from other countries to see a wide variety of program, programs. Uh, the, the goal of the program, I think, is to expose South Korean teachers to what an, a what an average American high school looks like and what, does, what kind of teaching happens, what's the pedagogy, what happens before and after school. And then we'll have a teacher, Aaron Sullivan, from my department, travel to South Korea to Bupyeong High School this summer and she'll see kind of how they teach over there. So it's kind of opening up that, that idea of global perspective and the president last week or a couple weeks ago has mentioned that America needs to be more like South Korea and their high schools so we'll actually go over there and see what they're like and she can come over here and see what we're like and we can discuss this as like people who have a shared common experience not just uh, theory. I have a kind of prejudice to understand American students because I think Hollywood movie, they are, they are all troublemakers, but it's not true. So I, want, I really want to see the ordinary teenagers in the U.S. Then I think I finally found <laughs> the good students in Attleboro High School. So I feel like at home in Attleboro, uh, just because of education the same education system, um, but kind of the emotional things. Our system is based on the education system in Massachusetts, New England. So I can find many similarities between two systems. That means we can improve our system together. So I can find uh, kind of a uh, good beginning point in history class. So. If it's possible, I want to make more chance to collaborate with Mr. Reed, Toby Reed, and especially in my history class. So history uh, can be a kind of good, good basis to making a concept of global citizenship clear. If Erin Sullivan visit, will visit our school, uh, firstly, she can find uh, similarity in educational system and kind of class, the method, the learning method or teaching method is very similar and perspectives to understand history is very similar. But at the same time, she can find the kind of difference between the American students and Korean students. So I hope she can find strong point in Korean educational system. And uh, when she, she come back here, she can apply that strong point in his class, in, not in just um, historical point, point of view, uh, but a kind of educational kind of 
attitude as uh, educators, I hope. She's working directly with a couple of different classes and for those students, they get a, a perspective that they might not have gotten before. Uh, the teachers who are working with her, I think, get uh, the ability to just see what type of education happens outside of the U.S., what uh, are the conversations that are very similar no matter where you are across the world about teaching and learning, um, and what's different and kind of uh, allows them to open up their, see different perspectives and figure out what, what works best. Um, and if there is something we should model after. Uh, plus, as, as a global educator, I think it's important for the kids to recognize that they're part of this larger world. And you know, we've talked about uh, continuing an exchange program after she leaves, where our kids will be able to work with the students from her school as well.